Yes, I'm connected. So, okay. Uh, so as you know, all our sessions actually is going to be recorded. Every 30 minutes we disconnect because the recording duration is 30 minutes. So we will record three sessions, three different sessions according, uh, uh, along the one and a half hour uh, of our class. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. So every 30 minutes we will disconnect and then we will connect again using the same link. Is it fine like that? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. So have a look at this, please. Uh, so this is, um, I prefer that you are able to use uh, that website or you register it. It's actually free. It's an online Java compiler. Um, so that I'm able to see your code. I'm able to, um, um, how to say, uh, we, we can share, we can, we can, you can share the code. You are able to, you are able to see, we are able to see the output or you, if you have a, a compiler on your computer, then you can use it also. It's also another possibility. Okay. So okay. do you have a compiler for Java on your computer? Um, um, I'm not so sure. Then, then, then we stick to that website um, and yalla. So we write, we have to write our, all our code here. Um, typically we was using a different website, which is a uh, replit, but uh, at the moment, as I can see with all my students, they already all close all the accounts and they want to convert all the free accounts into paid accounts. So, um, so it's becoming tough for everybody to keep the account. Lah. So at the moment we are we are trying to shift all our codes uh, into compilers like that. Okay. So I believe here you are able to make a free account, and they will not push you to make um, a paid account. So if you don't mind, um, I would like you to go to this uh, URL, uh, pizza.io, and start to register a free account. Would you mm -hmm. like to share your screen with me so that I can guide you? Oh, sure. Okay, can you see my screen? Uh, it takes okay. some time as a start. I mean, I mean, yes, I you start sharing. I already see that you started sharing, but typically it takes um, uh, maybe less than a minute to be able to see that. So, uh, but I would like you to take the chance and start to go to the website. So I will send you the link of the website here. And maybe I will send it to your WhatsApp. Okay, so you can copy the link and start um, registering there. Okay, yeah, you press continue, yep. So you press, you choose from here. If you search for Java, you find the Java here. Yes, start, yes, press like that, yes. Okay, so if you press run, which is at the bottom, yeah, yes, here. So you will be able to see okay, so this is what is going to print out because um, so if you change this to your name, if you remove this XXX to your name, then it will print out your name. Can you please try that? Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's good. That's the first code that you write. Now, let me try to um, understand your situation now. Um, 
you know do you know do you understand this command uh yeah it's actually print out the line the put the line that i want to it print okay to do print. you okay that's good do you recognize um strings from from integers so if i say i give you a variable that having a string and another variable that is having an integer are you able to recognize them uh yeah yeah i'll be able to recognize okay so this is a string right and this is an integer or this is an integer which one of them is is an integer uh the 10 10 and this is not integer uh no this is what do you call it uh i know i know the phrase i just forgot uh yeah pressure your mind that's good uh was it called again because uh i do uh can you choose from uh, this fluid. three sorry fluid it's fluid okay okay um well typically float i would put f but double i would not you if you see no f here then it is double okay if you see no f, if I put it like that, then it's double. If I put 10.2 f like that, then yes, it is double. It is float, sorry. Okay? So this is double. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, that is a good start. So for for me to be able to help you, you need to... I have to follow the same style that I tried with with a lot of students before you, which means that um, every code we take, you write it in front of me. And then when we write it, we make sure that we understand it. If you don't write the code with your hand, uh, definitely at the end of the class, um, you will assume that you understood. But you come to the next class, you will find it very difficult to catch what we are saying. So what I tried with all my students so far, that every time we take a single line of code, we write it. You, not we, you write it with your own hand. So when you write it with your own hand, you will remember it. And then we discuss about it. If you understand it fully, then we move to the next. If I move very fast, you have to slow me down. Uh, it, take, it will take me some time to adapt to your speed. So if I if you, you see me pushing you too much, that wouldn't work. So you have to slow me down. Okay. Okay. Sure. Good. So you stop your sharing. I have to start sharing, and if needed, then uh, I will let you share your screen. Okay. Okay. okay, I will talk to you today about, uh, I will remind you with methods. So do you know what is a method is and why we do, do we use methods? Mm. No, I can't recall. Okay. So um it's good for your mind if you try to push your brain okay i know you certain things that you know and it's easy for your brain to refuse to help you um but we have to pressure it a bit so that it can you can start to dig inside your brain i know you have that knowledge definitely uh, and i will repeat that that is fine but uh without pushing your brain i don't want to push you personally I'm not pushing you uh, uh, internally that you feel that uncomfort, but I want to push me and you push your brain. Okay. So, okay. We write method to make the code modular. So it means that 
when we write methods, we group certain amount of code and we give it a name. When we do that, we are able to recall that certain lines of code many, many times. And we don't need to repeat re uh, same amount of code if we want to do uh, the same thing. So what are you saying? That is difficult to understand. Um, so first of all, I just want you to know uh, before we see an example, uh, is that um, for modularity, for for the sake of um, writing less amount of code in general in software, we try to make our code modular in a way that we can reuse the, the software that you write, not only now, but later on. The more you write code, the more you build uh, uh, modular code, modular pieces of code that you can reuse later in other projects. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, modularity is about um, a certain piece of code that you can copy from one project to another. So let us have a look at this code. Um, I understand that at the start, your brain will not help you a lot, but can you can you read this code and or tell me what this code does actually? This code uh, lets you enter a number and find the average between the not the first number and the second number. Excellent. Okay. So, do you know what kind of import that we need to do to be able to use the scanner? Um, um, import. Is it, um, what's it called? Uh, Java something? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's good that you're trying. So, is uh, did you did you ever write you tell like that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I used to. Okay. What what is what is the highest project you ever write? Oh, what is the ki what is the highest exercise or the most complex exercise that you ever write in Java? Complex. Um, maybe at the end of uh, your Java class, maybe um, at the end of the term, they give you some kind of project you can write. I think uh, maybe. Uh, what is it called? Create, create a uh, account for a system. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. So never mind. The past is past. We let us focus on the future now. Um. So okay. Uh, I ask you, please. Can you please write this co code on your computer on the same yeah. place that you we we shared? I shared with you just now. Yeah, sure.
So how is it? Did you manage to write it? Uh, yeah, uh, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, did you manage to uh, run the code? Uh, actually, no. Uh, are you able to run the code? I'm able to assist as a runtime error. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's a good start. So, uh, what does the error say? It says that I don't have the necessary elements. Okay. Uh, does it point to the exact line that uh, mm -hmm. that you're having the error? What is the line of code? That, that I have in thread main java dot you take no such element exception okay can you please share the code with me i would like to confirm that it is not the error of the but I, before before i move on from here um are you able to write that line of code in the importing in the import importing part at the top of your code Yeah, I believe. Okay. Can you try to run before you share? No, I can't. It says compile error. Okay. Uh, share with me your code, please. Java that you tell does not exist, but actually, uh, uh, don't make uh, Java as a capital, please make it small in line number one. Okay, right run again. Okay, uh, go up. I would like to see what is the uh, uh -huh. exception in thread. No such element exception. Scanner's row for mm -mm. team that he does not accept the scanner. Okay, um, remove. Let me let me try to see here if I write. Um, I would like you to remove that uh, asterisk and put scanner. Put exactly this. It's kind of... Sorry again. Is it capital S or? Yes, exactly. Yes, dot capital S. 
util.scanner It's still compiling error. Mm, yeah. So I believe that is something that we need to um, input tab, enter your text, for example. Okay. So I would say uh, because it is okay. This is uh, one of the errors that happen with this new compiler. So I believe um, I want you to try to put here, before you run, uh, put here in this area, I want you to put 10 and 10, 10 and 10. So 10 and space 10. Let us tr try to see if he accepts that, because this is a different type of compiler that does not really stop. This is an online compiler. So just put 10, write 10. Are you able to write here? Does he allow you mm -hmm. to write? No, it does not mean monitor. This is an input. Let me see. Mm -hmm. What about here? Let me see. Okay, let me check that error um, on the later stage, so it means that we are not able to take the input from here from you. Never mind. So let us adjust this code so that we don't use scanner since he doesn't really accept a scanner in this case. Uh, and oh, wait, please wait, just remove please the asterisk. You cannot put asterisk here, but I believe the error will still occur. Yes, you try to run, but I believe the error will still occur. Hmm. He still have a problem with the scanner. So uh, we would like to actually comment that line, comment that this specific line. Yes. And you come here to the console. After the equal, make comment. Yes. I, yes, here. Yes, correct. Make, make two slashes. Okay. And before the slash, I want you to put 10. Okay. And do the same here. I want you to put 11. So don't forget the semicolon, please, after the 10 and the 11. Okay, so I want you to try to run, please. Okay, so we managed to, to get um, the average, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, let us move on until later we check what is the issue with the scanner here so we don't waste our time. Let me share, please, the code so we can continue. Okay. Okay. So uh, the example here we are trying to do, uh, of course, we stopped uh, everything related to, to the scanner. 
which is, is okay at the moment because the scanner is only to get an input from the user. We put the input uh, our own. Uh, so you see here, if we want to find an average for uh, two numbers, we will use that piece of code. If we want to repeat the same, it means that we need to find an average for another two numbers. So we are talking about here, for example, 10 and 11. Here we want to find 20 and 30. So we will put inside num1, 20. And inside num2, uh, we put, for example, 30, okay? So we want to find the average here for these two numbers. And we want to find also another average for another two numbers. Okay, so it okay. means uh, that I not only want to find for two numbers, but I want to find for an, another two. So in total, we have four numbers. So if every time I want to find an average for two numbers, I keep repeating this code. This does not, does not make many, any sense, actually. We need to find a smart way if we want to do certain uh, function uh, or if we want to uh, do the averaging, we need this, the we need to write less amount of code to do the same functionality. It doesn't make any sense that I keep repeating the same amount of code two times. It means that we are not writing a correct code. This is not the smart way of writing a code. Uh, we write a code correctly if we are able to gather um, to reuse to make a way that we tune the code to make it reusable. So we don't have to keep copying and pasting the code because this is uh, totally wrong. So here, the methods or procedures method, um, or even a procedure or a function is all the same, refer to the same thing. So we will gather some amount of code, okay? And we give it a name. So. Sorry, we have to close and open again. This is another 30 minutes that passed, okay?